Okay, good evening everyone. Um famous I'm actually your host for today's tutorials on uh, 3D animation using the Lutagon story app. Now we're going to be doing what I call character customization. Now to be able to customize your character, like I said, you open your Protagon app. I'm already in my Protagon app. So these videos you are actually seeing. This video, this video and the rest are videos are done by myself. So in case you open yours and your video are not up to this, you don't have to be afraid or thinking your app is not the right app. For a start, once you open your Protagon app, these are the only two videos you will see. This one and also this video. So that you don't think you are actually using the wrong app. It's the right app. I've done these videos myself. Now I want to customize our characters. The first thing to do in customizing your character is to enter this create video. Now, in customizing your character, you can customize your character to speak any language you want it to speak. Like I've explained in the previous video, that you can be able to change your language to either French, Portuguese, Spanish, and every other languages that are available to you on the platform. So you click this create video. Now, once I open create video, it should load. You allow it to load. Now it's actually loading. It's actually loading. I want the scene to show. Okay, now I've clicked that create video, and you come to this place that is showing no actor. This place underlined as no actor. Circle does no actor. That's the place you come to for you able to create your own character because that's where you will choose your characters from. Now I open this no actor to choose an actor. Then now you can see if you observe properly, you see create a new character. Now you enter this create a new character. Now this is the character I created and I named him Akbovoka. I created this character myself. And these are characters on the Protagon app that came pre-installed in the Protagon app. So now I click this create character. I like to load. I like to load. It's loading. Okay, now, I want to choose which character. You can either decide that your character should be a male or a female. Now, you can see this is a male, and this is this is a male, rather, this is a female. Now, you can choose which of them you want your character to look like. If you want to create a female character, you just click the female. And if you want to create a male character, you click the male, depending on you and depending on the what characters you want to produce. That should be your main focus. Now, let's say I want to create a main character. I want somebody to, I want the person to be as a main character. So now I choose the main character. Now, if you want to make it random, you, you choose this randomize. That's what you choose, depending on you. If you want to make it random, that's what you choose. But I want to make it a main character. So therefore, I'm choosing this main character as what I want to use. So I click on main. It changes to a main character. When I click on main, Okay, it was actually on the main character before. Sorry about that. Okay, you can see this is the main character now. Now I want to change it to a female character. It comes to this woman. I can change it again to a main character. It comes to this guy. I can change it again until I see somebody that I really, really like. Okay, now I want to use this guy. Let's go with this guy. Now, the first thing to do to choosing your character to switch to this place is to customize the head. Now, this is the next place to do. This one circle here is to customize and choose the shape of the head you can be able to change his head so now i want to do that so i click it so when i click it i like to load as you can see these are different shapes i can decide to use this head i can decide to use this one i can decide to use this one it all depends on me so now i uh, remember we are currently on this second icon that's where I am now currently. So I choose, I can decide to use this one. I want to change his head. You can see his, his head has actually changed. I want to change this. You can see his face has changed. It just changed the face. Let me use this one. You can see his face is changing. If you observe very well, okay, let me use this face. Okay, this face is downloading. Since I've not downloaded the face before, it has to download before I'll be able to use it. 
Okay, you can see his face has changed. He's not looking like a woman, though he's a man. This one is also downloading. I have not downloaded them before. So you can see his face is changing. So that allows you to use to customize the face. I can decide to say, okay, let me use this face. Now this is the face I'm currently this is the face I'm currently working with. This one second here is what I'm currently working with. So I'll be able to follow. Now the next is to customize the kind of hair you want him to have. The kind of hair you want him to have. You can turn his back. You can see you can touch it to check his face, to check his eyes, to check his lips, to turn it around and you are able to see the character you are customizing now the next is to next you click the next the next is actually to change his hair now i'm currently on this second one as you have seen from your screen i'm currently on this second one now the next thing is actually to change his hair now i want to change his hair remember like i said these ones that are having premium sign that are having the card sign are premium Features not be able to use them on a free floater gun app, but if you need the act version of it, but it's, it's not free, you can as well DM us and we will give you the act version of floater gun and you'll be able to get every feature for free as we'll be acting the app for you from Google Play Store. But it's not actually compulsory as the free feature as what you actually want, okay? So the next thing for us to do is to choose the kind of air we want him to use. Now you can choose the color of air from here. You can choose the color of air, like choosing this, this is black. You can choose the color of air you want him to use. You can choose the color. These are different colors of air. Now this is black, this is ashes. You can actually decide to choose whatever color you want to use. This is black, this is ashes. I can change the color by clicking this black. You can see his air is now black. You can use this color. You can see the hair is changing depending on the kind of style. Okay, let's use this color. I think this color is actually preferable for what we want to do. Okay, now the next thing to do, like I said, is to choose the kind of hair. Now this is a, this is one. This is another. You can see you can. There are many. There are many. You actually allow them to load. This is another. This is another. You can actually allow them to load as they are very very many you can choose anyone you want to use so let's actually customize the air let's say i want him to use this kind of air so i've not downloaded it before it's downloading you can see it has changed you can turn him and see how it looks you can see it's looking it's looking odd somehow but let us go with this now the next which is this icon is to give him beers now you can see this guy we are using is an underage he doesn't have beers there's no beers, it's just plain, there's nothing, it's just like me, you can see I don't have beers. <laughs> it's just like me, there's no beers, there's nothing really there. So you can decide to choose whatever um, um, beers you want. So I'll be clicking on the beards, I'll be clicking on the beards, so it changes to the beards. It's loading. Now you can see subscribe for more beards. If you don't want to have a beard, you just touch this cancel sign. If you don't want him to have a beard, then you just click here, then there will be no beards. But I want to give him cool beards. Let me give him cool beards. Okay, let's try using this and see how it looks on him. You can see he's not looking like a very, very old man. And then you can change the color of the beards with these symbols, those symbols under the screen now you are seeing. It's currently, you can change it to black. You can change it to this color. You can change it to this color. You can change it to any color you wish and make the guy look so funny. Okay, now let's take this color. No, let's give him this color. Let's give him this color. So that how to customize the beard. You can choose any of the beards. You can decide to use this one. You can see it's now it has changed. You can say, okay, I want to use this beard. Okay, I think this one is even better. Let's use this beard for the guy. So it looks like a very, very funny character. So that's for beards. Now the next icon is actually to change his eyes. Which is this icon here. Is to change his eyes and give him the kind of eye you actually want him to have so now i'm going directly to that i'm clicking on the eyes i'm clicking on the eyes i like to load now it has load you can see you can decide to choose the color of the eyes from this symbol up here you can choose the color of the eyes using any of these symbols that are circled here in the video you can decide to use any of them it all depends on you now i want to make him have a let's say a blue and black eye so i choose this 
you can see his eye is actually changing what's inside the eye is changing the black eye you can see it's changing to black very black you can see this is something like a white and black and all of those so i want him to have something like blue blue on it so i decided to give him a very very cool eye brand okay let's say i want him to have this kind of eye so it should load you can see his eye has changed the feather has been applied it should have the kind of eyes it should have this kind of eyes so it all depends on you you can change it from here you can see the blue eyes because i actually use this blue you can make him have something like this which is the eyebrow we are customizing this eyebrow we're actually customizing this eyebrow here this is what we are working on currently we are trying to customize the eye the eyebrow like i said so now i can decide to use any of those now i want to use something darker you can see it has changed if you observe very well you can see this eye texture here this stuff here has changed so i can decide to use any of those and that's the work for that now this next icon is actually to choose if you want to give him glasses to wear that's what you do with that next icon okay now let's say i want to give him glasses to wear i just click on it i just click on it and now like i said these ones i like to load these ones that are having shopping cart symbol a premium a premium features not be able to use them for free so i want to just give him a simple eyeglass i should use this you can see he's now currently putting on an eyeglass if you observe what you can see an eyeglass here so i've been able to give him an eyeglass it all depends on you so this other one you move you'll be able to move it the other one is to give him shirt i want to change the kind of clothes he's wearing i don't really like it now i'm currently on this icon I'm currently on this icon now i want to give him a very very good clothes you can change the color of his clothes using these symbols here too okay i think black is better on him it's looking nice on black you can see how funny is this character you can see how funny is the character so now let's change his clothes let's give it something lovely now it's downloading i'm currently using this character this clothes that's what i'm using currently so let's leave it to download okay you can see eyes looking now I've changed the clothes on him. Like I said, this is the clothes he's using currently. This is the clothes he's putting on. Now that's to how to change the clothes. Now you can decide to change his trousers by coming to this icon. Use I want to change his trousers and changing the trousers. I just do a very very simple thing by clicking here. So now I like to load. I like to load. Now I can decide to use any of these trousers. I want to use this one. I've not downloaded it before. Let me download it. Now you can see the trouser has changed. You can see how it's bouncing. So I'm currently using this trouser. You can see how it's looking. You can see it's actually looking nice and looking good on that. So you can use any of these trousers that are free. Okay, let's give him a combat jean. You can see how it's looking on the combat jean. It's looking like one old school. Now I'm using this combat jean as my trouser. So I can use that. Now I want to... Let's continue. Now this next icon is to change his shoe. This next icon is to change his shoe. Now I want to change his shoes. I don't like this all star he's putting on. Let's change his shoes so it looks a little bit better. So just click on this shoe icon. Now I'm currently on the shoe icon. This is where I am now currently. Now you can decide to change his shoe. You can change the color of the shoe to any color you want. You can see the color is changing by clicking in on any of these symbols on the you're able to change that. You can see I'm going to change it to black and white, red and okay. I think this is actually fitting his dressing. So let's use this. Now let me change the shoe. Let me use this shoe. It's loading. You can see his shoe has changed. I want to give him a red shoe. You can see it's not looking very, very nice because it's actually matching. Now the next icon is actually which is this what you want to do. It actually to give it a little text where you want him to talk the language you want him to speak that's what that next icon is for so i just click on it i like it to load it's loading now you can see you can decide okay if you speak you can see the languages here you can see the language is currently on english it's currently speaking english as you can see as you can see from your screen this is the language is currently speaking you can decide to change to any language of your choice you can decide to change any language of your choice 
Yeda, Neti, Mariska, Alex, Ato, and the rest. Now this, I want to change it to this now. You can see this language is picking. I want to change it to ES. You can see these languages are not English. I want to change it to ET. So, but let's use English language that we were using originally. Let's use this language we were using originally. And let's align to speak any of these. Let's use this language. So, that's for that icon. Now, the next icon is actually to give him a name. It's actually to give him a name. Now, I want to give my character a very, very good name. I want to give my character a very, very good name. And what I have to do is just to click on it. Now, we choose his name here. Yeah. Now, this the name is bearing, but I want to change the name. Now, as you can see, I'm changing the name from my screen. Let's say I want to use a Cozy Bright. You can name him your own name, depending on you. I want to use Cozy Bright. Okay, now this is Cozy Bright, and that's the name I decided to use. So, like I said, this is the icon. From your keyboard, you just click on the name, and you can edit it. So, that's what we're currently using. So, I just click on this done to complete everything I'll be doing just click on done and you saved your character now you can see this is the camera positioning you can decide to change your camera that if you want to share it that's to that please also to share your character character you have customized you can actually use this symbol here you can use here to you can actually use here this one here to change your character to share your character to people that's if you wish not by force and also this symbol you can make the character start behaving the way if you want him to be blowing a kiss for example let's say i want him to be just neutral i underline neutral this neutral underline here i just come to this neutral and i click on neutral and the character will just be neutral you just be behaving neutrally then if i want the character not to behave neutrally like i said this is the symbol you have to click this one to make the character perform some certain tasks now if i don't want him to behave neutrally what i just have to do is to go back there and let's say I want him to have a, I want him to be scared. I, so I choose this scary. I want him to be scared. Now choosing this scary, I just do a simple thing by clicking, clicking scary. Now you see the character will be scared somehow. Should sure, apply. You can see now. You can see how he's currently behaving. So that's how I want the character to be. I want him to be scared in his videos. I'll be using it for. So I just click on done and allow you to save loading content to save still loading okay i think he's saving now okay now you should load it should load is loading okay you cannot see the character i've created you cannot see the character i've created you cannot see him. this guy I just created now it has not added to your character it has saved now to pluto gold and you can start using him to do your own videos so that's actually how to customize a character. So thank you for watching these videos. Goodbye. Try and customize different characters for your own. I see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.